Sagittarius. This is y'all weekly message. Sagittarius, y'all looking for y'all ride or die. You feel like the person that you're dealing with just might be that ride or die. Tomorrow ain't promised. And somebody ain't caring about what somebody else has to see. You got to live for yourself and live, live for today. Don't let nobody else make a decision for you. You do what makes you happy and not what somebody else wants to make you happy. They hate the spirit. No. Let's grow. Somebody wants you to be their bonnie and they to be your clive. Friendship. When I pulled his cards, I heard we started off as close friends. Somehow you ended up my girlfriend. And the baby is a Sagittarius. So friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Oh, interesting, Saggy. Interesting. Let's see what you got. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to reshuffle that. Somebody said they're going to always keep it 100 with you. Somebody been being petty. Somebody could be envious of y'all friendship, y'all connection, y'all relationship. Somebody envious because somebody chose you over everybody else. So not somebody, oh, somebody, not everybody got something to say about y'all relationship because this person offered you a solid, stable connection. Somebody could have turned it back on you or somebody stopped being a player or somebody is making an executive decision to give up their play ways because they want a commitment. Maybe y'all started off as close friends and, and you ended up the girlfriend. Care for you, Tory Lane. Somebody could be a Leo. This could be happening in Leo season. Somebody's taking off the blinders. Somebody's taking off the blindfolds because somebody see things clearly now. Somebody's no longer confused. Somebody's not no longer stuck. And worrying about what other people have to say. Somebody could wear glasses as well. Somebody could have um, a short haircut. You're masculine. Someone has um, little to no hair on their chest. Somebody has black hair. Somebody could have a beard. Somebody wants to celebrate with you. And somebody don't care about what everybody has to say. Somebody feels like the time is ticking. Time is running out. This is after somebody ghosted you. They want to celebrate with you. This is somebody that you haven't heard from. But this person is going to come towards you to let you know that they're ready to be vulnerable. They're ready to express their love for you. This is someone that is ready to face their fears. They're ready to face you. There was a pause in this relationship. There's a pause in this situation. There's been a pause in this situation because of this person having all these options. Maybe they have to let go of these options before they can come towards you and give you and offer you in a commitment. 
This is someone that was could have been known for their play ways. But now this person sees the signs and synchronicities of who you are and what you mean to them. This is someone somebody could have a um a silver watch. Somebody could have a um somebody could have a little taco meat on their chest. Somebody could um, wear a gold chain. You are someone's divine feminine, but you get this person anxiety. They have anxiety because they cut you off. This divine masculine. So this masculine is not ready to express his love for you. This divine masculine is ready to express um, the love that they have for you. They know that they turned their back on love with you. They turned their back on love with you. And now they're ready to talk about it because they, they're realizing the signs and synchronicities. They're no longer blinded by lies, deceit, gossip, envious, jealous people. This is someone that possibly wants to travel with you. Or they want you and them to travel together. This is someone that was betrayed and they have legal uh, issues. Somebody was backstabbed. And somebody could have um, a court date coming. Recently went to court. And somebody is a little pressured. Somebody is feel pressured to come towards you because they know the more time that they wait, the more time um, they have wasted. This is someone that can't sleep because of the thoughts of you. They can't sleep because of the thoughts of you because they're literally ready to make the necessary sacrifice for y'all. And they want to come in unapologetic. They are coming towards you or they are ready to reach out. This could have been somebody that you had in your favorites. Somebody had an iPhone. Or an Apple product. Somebody's been on an emotional roller coaster. It's been your masculine. They coming in fast because it's an adrenaline adrenaline rush. They feel like they have to come towards you fast. If they don't come towards you, it's either now or never. That's why they feel so pressured. They feel pushed to come towards you because they can't sleep at night. I'm here late at night. Kiss me in the morning, late at night. So this is somebody. Yeah, they come and towards you after. See, they have to turn their back on a particular person. And that's why everybody is envious of you. Because they turn their back on a particular person. And now they come towards you because you are their happiness. You are their star. They are now single. They took a while to come towards you because they had to end some things before they come towards you. But you are their true desire. And they do want to work with you. They want to come and pull up on you, girl. Bye. Let's see. Let's see, Sage. Look, they can't stop thinking of you. You wish you done did some. That voodoo that you do from what I heard. You done put them under I'm hearing, um, you got me stuck up in your love cycle. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So this is someone that can't stop thinking about you and how you have given them a spiritual lesson. How you have taught them things that they never knew before. You changed this person. I can't make it up. What this say? I know I've been changed. You changed this person. You could have taught them about the spiritual lesson, letting them know that we all one, one love. And they think you are they sweet lady, baby. You are they sweet lady. I see what your next sexual experience is gonna be with who could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, Aquarius. Libra, Taurus, 
Aquarius, Cancer, Cancer. They want to suck on your earlobe, something about your bottom. They want to pinch you, tickle you, and they want some shower sex too. Somebody's birthday could be 11 7 or 7 11. I don't know. But um, they want to take you on a little vacation too. So get ready. Because they desire you, baby. They want to rub you down, kiss you up, you know. They could be coming towards you at nighttime when the stores are out. I don't know. But all the information y'all need is below. If y'all want to send your girl something from the birthday, all that information is still below. I love y'all. I love y'all. This is y'all weekly message. Y'all be easy.